Hey guys, so, oh, the lens is so messy. Let me try to clean it. Okay, it is better. <laughs> so I have this book that I keep and I pretty much put all my memorabilia in it. A lot of my friends write me letters throughout my whole entire life. Tickets that I got um, at the movies and concerts that I've seen and I keep a lot of stuff um, and it's only because I like to look back and see where I was a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. So what I'm about to show you guys is something that is like super old and it's the reason why I've worked so hard and it's a reminder to just keep going. So let me show you. <laughs> super quiet in high school and I never stood up for myself that's a whole nother story <laughs> that I will share eventually but this story um, involves me not giving up I was like super shy and it was weird because I want to say I was in my own like world I was just lonely. I was absolutely lonely. I wouldn't be where I am without you guys, a hundred percent. But I think it's good to have your own sense of motivation. And this right here, this parchment is and was my motivation. So what's with, <laughs> what's with that thing? I remember finally being accepted and finally having my own friends when I went to the first meeting of the video game club. <laughs> I was dragged there by my loving sister who I will leave her links down below in the description but she dragged me to the first video game club meeting and my main was Young Link at the time and some really top players were in my school which I hadn't known at the time and this was before everyone knew how to wave dash how to L cancel like this was before anyone knew any advanced techniques so we were all numb I can't thank everyone in the video game club for all the support and talking to me people didn't realize but just by talking to me, I felt like I was wanted. It was perfect timing because I combined two things that I love, art and video games. I used my art as a way to protect myself, so people would ask me questions about my art and they didn't have to ask questions about who I was or you know what I liked. I was so scared of being judged so scared that it prevented me from doing so many things that I do regret in a way but I know it just made me who I am today. I feel like people who are really quiet have the most to say they just don't know how to deliver it you know and people don't realize that it's a skill that has to be learned like it's like art it's like drawing it takes practice so I would get orders for charms and figurines that were in like the melee realm. I remember making my first figurine and it was a Kirby. Um, and it was the worst looking Kirby in the entire world. If I can find a picture, I'll try to put it in this vlog. Yeah, my friends would go and they would sell my figurines and I'd get orders. And before you know it, like a lot of people really love my work and they would wear like my old charms that I've made that I made before yeah I mean I've transformed as an artist 
from making charms, figurines, ball tops, and now amiibos. It's definitely been a long transition. I've wanted this my entire life. I can't say that. I've wanted this since the day I walked into the video game club. I never gave up and I think it's because I had so much passion and, and I dreamed big and I had goals that I tried to aim for and I stayed motivated. When it was senior year of high school, I realized that I guess life was about to begin. I was going to be my own because my sister went to a different college. I don't know. I was, I don't know if I was naive or, or just had huge dreams, but I actually looked up Nintendo headquarters <laughs> and I don't remember what exactly I sent them. I sent them a letter stating like, hey, I'm an artist. I would love to have a jewelry line. Um, in partnership with Nintendo, I make charms, I do this, I do that, yada yada yada, why not? <laughs> so this package was pretty put together in my opinion. I really did try my best. And then I think two weeks after I had sent it, I got this letter in the mail. And I was so excited, so excited. The package was pretty heavy, and uh, I didn't know why, but I ran home, and this is what the letter said. Thank you for writing to Nintendo with your business proposal and examples of your work. You are certainly a talented jeweler. We appreciate your interest. We appreciate. <laughs> Although we are flattered by your request, we are unable to accept your business products. In the package was everything I had sent. It devastated me and I felt defeated. <laughs> I've always wanted to work with Nintendo. I see myself still working for Nintendo. Even though I got declined all those years ago, I recently announced that I am a Nintendo brand ambassador. And it is the biggest thing, the biggest accomplishment to date that I am so proud of. I've worked so hard to get here and I hope that it's a testament to anyone who's trying to chase after their dreams whether you want to be a musician, actor, singer, artist. I know it's hard but if you keep going you will get there. So I hope this inspired someone out there to keep going. It's an absolute honor to be working with the company that I've dreamt of for so long. It's a dream come true. And I know that if I keep going, I will hit even bigger and better goals in the near future. But if I keep on going, you have to keep on going too. So. I hope that this has inspired you in some sort of way. I have more stories to share with you guys, trust me. Um, and I hope you guys continue to support my work. If you can do me a huge favor so I can continue telling all these crazy stories of my life, please subscribe to this video, like this video, and comment below what is your biggest dream? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again, guys. And I will see you all next time.